In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can pass arguments into your spiders using Scrapey. We're going to take an example where we're looking at baseball caps and we're going to flick through the different teams based on which one we choose. I've written out a short Scrapey script that pulls out some of the basic product details from this page. It gets the name, the price and the link. Um, the website is this one. Um, how I did that was I used the CSS selectors and went through the Scrapey shell. And if we hover over one of the items here, you can see that there's this div class product product listing that has all the information in it that I wanted to pull out. Now, if you're not familiar with Scrapey, I have a good few videos already on my channel. And one of them is Scrapey for beginners that runs through how to do all of this. Um, so this is just a bit more about specifically how to pass arguments into your spiders. So if I was to go to my shell and run this spider, which I called sports, we'll see that it goes and then we get the data back here. And we actually scraped 23 items, which I think is about right here. We go 23 products found. And we can see that we've got, um, if I highlight this one, the name, price, and the actual, uh, the link to the product. So that's all well and good, but what if we wanted to change the team or maybe the sport that's on this website, so flick through the categories, or maybe we wanted to actually pass in a specific argument. What we can do is we can actually modify our code a little bit and make use of the self keyword here, and then we can pass in arguments that way through the command line. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the one of them first and I'm going to go to the URL here. So you see I have now have an F in front of the URL. That's because I'm going to turn this into an F string. Now what that is, is that means that with this F in front, whatever we put into the brackets will then be put into this string when the code is run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the team name from the end. And I'm going to put in curly brackets and I'm going to put in the word self because we are referencing the self as in the class and I'm going to do dot and then I'm going to write the word team. I'm actually just going to make that one smaller so it doesn't go off the edge. What that means is that when we pass in a argument that matches this word into this class, it's going to put that at the end of this URL. Now what we can do with that is that we can then specify the team that we want to crawl and because the whole website is basically the same, it's all just filled out with the same sorts of categories and products, we can easily change which category or in this case team that we scrape the products for. So let's have a look. So if I go back to sports sticking in American football and let's go on to the Dallas Cowboys page. So if I look at the URL at the top, it's actually Dallas-Cowboys2, which is slightly confusing, but that's what we need. So if we go back to our shell here, our terminal, and we then go back to crawl our website, we need to do a dash A, and that means we're gonna be passing in this argument. And we want to do team is equal to Dallas-Cowboys2. And that represents exactly how it looked in the URL. So that means that we're now going to replace the self.team, which is here, with this command here. So we'll run that, and if we see we actually got a scraped product count, which I can never see, it was only nine, but we can see here that if we highlight this one, we have the Dallas Cowboys sideline gray cap. Uh, there's some price data missing here. Uh, you would definitely want to use the items or the item loader uh, and do something and actually remove data that doesn't have this information in like you would do. But as I said, this is just for an example. So that's good, that works nice and easy. But what if we wanted to do both the sport and the team? We can actually do that really simply as well. We can pass in two arguments by working exactly the same way. And let's do self and we'll call this one sport. And we'll save that. And now we have two. So all we have to do is let's go to the, another sport. Let's do basketball, uh, Toronto Raptors. So it's basketball and Toronto Raptors, great. And we go back to our shell, our terminal. Uh, and we, what we wanna do is instead of the team being this, we want to do Toronto dash Raptors. And then we want to do a space and then another A because we're giving it another argument. And this time the sport was equal to basketball. So it's basically just going to replace these two parts of the URL string with what we give it here. So when I run that, hopefully it works and we get five items back and we can see here the Toronto Raptors caps there. 
So that's one really good way and really good use for it. Another common use for this is maybe passing in login information if you have to log into something. And another thing that I've done before is I've given it um, a specific variable if I wanted to output the text to a CSV but I wanted to have some kind of code in front of it that was meaningful to me we can actually just pass this self variable in anywhere so if I was to just say uh, code and then do self dot code if that was something that I needed to save and then I could just save that and then we can go back here and we can just tag on a again and then do code is equal to and then I'll just say uh, my code number one and we'll run that and we'll see that our data has come back here with my code one in it and I actually put the braces in there which I didn't need because I was not in an F string this time so we wouldn't need those there there we go so that's another cool way another good thing you can do with Scrapey is you can pass in all these arguments use just using the self we don't need to type it into the initialization because it does that for us so it's really really easy just to pass arguments in like this so hopefully you guys have found this useful and interesting uh, as i said i've got loads of scrapey videos on my channel already so go check them out if you're interested in that sort of thing scrapey is a great framework for web scraping i highly recommend that if you're interested in this sort of thing which you probably are because you're watching this video that you start to learn it if you have done so already. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and got some value out of it. I've been John and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.